Friends, the question is on the screen. In a class, the respective ratio between the number of boys and the number of girls is 3 is to 1. A test was conducted wherein the average score of the boys was 73, while that of the entire class was 71. What was the average score of girls? Now here, in a class, the ratio of the number of boys to that of the number of girls is 3 is to 1. So we will assume that let the number of boys be 3 and the number of girls be 1. And it is said that a test was conducted wherein the average score obtained by boys is 73. There are 3 boys and the average score of these 3 boys is 73 and therefore the total marks obtained by 3 boys will be 73 into 3 and that is equal to 219. 3 3 is a 9, 7 3 is a 21, 290. And the average of the entire class is given. So the total boys and girls are 4, means the number of students that are 4 and their average is given as 71, their average is given as 71, therefore the total marks obtained by a class will be equal to 71 into 4. And 71 into 4 that will be 284. Now here these are the total marks obtained by the class, means including boys and girls. And these are the marks obtained by boys. So if you subtract the marks obtained by boys from the total marks, then you will get the marks obtained by girls and therefore it is 284 minus 219 and that is equal to 65. So the 65 are the marks obtained by girls and since there is only one girl, so each a girl, so the what was the average score of the girls, so the average score of the girl will also be 65 marks. Friends, the question is on the screen. The average age of a husband, his wife and son, three years ago, was 29 years and that of his wife and son five years ago was 21 years. What is husband's present age? Friends, in the first condition it is given that the average age of husband, his wife and the son three years ago was 29 years. So 29 years was the average age and therefore their total age was 29 multiplied by 3 and so the total age was 87 years. But their present age will be equal to what? Husband age will increase by 3 years, wife's age will increase by 3 years and son's age will increase by 3 years and so it will become 87 plus 9 that is 96 years. And therefore, the present age of husband, wife and son is 96 years. But in the second condition, it is given that the average age of wife and son 5 years ago was 21 years. So, total age of wife and son will be average age multiplied by number of members that is number of members are 2 and that is equal to 42. Now their present age will be what? Each will increase by 5 years, wife's age will increase by 5 years, son's age will increase by 5 years and the total increase will be of 10 years. So present age of wife and son will be 52 years. And if you subtract the age of husband, wife and son and the wife and son you will get the age of husband. Therefore husband's age will be equal to 96 minus 52 and that is equal to 44 years and therefore the husband's 
present age is 44 years. Friends, the question is on the screen. In a class, the average weight of 40 boys is 65 kg and that of 50 girls is 60 kg. After a few days, 40% of girls and 50% of boys live what would be the new average weight of the class in kilograms. Assume that average weight of the boys and the girls remain constant. Friends, in a class, the number of boys are 40 and the number of girls are 50. The average weight of boys is given as 65 kg and the average weight of girls is given at 60 kg. And it is said that after a few days, 40% of girls live. 40% of girls live, it means 60% are present and 60% of 50 will be 30. It means the 30 girls are present. 30 girls are present. And 30 girls multiplied by the average weight that is 60 kg, that will be the total present weight of the girls. And it is said that the 50% of boys live, it means the 50% boys are still present. So 40% of 50, 40% 40, uh, 50 of 40 that will be 20. So 20 boys are present. So plus 20 multiplied by their average age that is 65. This will be the uh, multiplied by average weight that is 65 kilogram. This will be the total weight of 20 boys. This will be the total weight of 30 girls. And since there are total boys and girls are 50, if you divide this by 50, you will get the new average weight of the class. So 6 3 is 18, this will be 1800 plus 65 into 20, that will be 1300 divided by 50. And if you add this to, this will be equal to 3100, 3100 divided by 50, 0 will get cancelled, 5 6 is 30, 5 2 is 10 and therefore it is 62 kg and therefore the present a uh, new average weight of the class is 62 kg. Friends, the question is on the screen. Two years ago, the average age of A, B and C was 30 years. The present average age of A and B is 25 years. Four years hence, the average age of C and D would be 43 years. What is the present age of D? This question was asked in the IBPS Bank POMT CWE Men's Exam 2016. So here friends, two years ago, the average age of A, B and C was 30 years. So here the total age of A, B and C Two years ago will be 30 multiplied by 3. Three members are there and the average age is 30. Therefore, their total age will be 3 into 30 that is 90 years. But their present age will be what? Their age will increase by 2 years. Everybody's age will increase by 2 years and so there will be an increase of 6 years. So, total present age of A, B and C will be 96 years. So total age of A, B and C, this is their present age, will be 96 years. But here it is also given that the present average age of A and B is 25 years. So present average age of A and B is 25 years. So their total age will be 25 into 2 that is equal to 50 years. But it is further said that 4 years hence the average age of C and D would be 43 years. 4 years hence. Therefore 4 years hence the average age of C and D that will be what 43 into 2. 
and so that will be equal to 86 years. So their present age will be what? The present age will be, this is the 4 years hence. So this age will be, C's age will be less by 4 years, D's age will be less by 4 years and therefore the total age will decrease by 8 years. So 86 minus 8 and that will be equal to 78 years. And this is the present age of C and D. This is the present age of C and D and we have to find the age of D. We have to find the age of D. Here from this 2, 1 and 2, if you put the age, total age of AB, correct, means if you subtract the age of AB from the age of ABC, you will get the age of C and therefore the age of C that will be equal to 96 minus 50 and that is equal to 46. This is the total age of C and D and if you subtract the age of C from the total age of C and D, then you will get the age of D at 78 minus 46 and that is equal to 32 years and therefore the age of D is 32 years.